Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting here again. And today I would like to show you how you can make those beautiful paper clips. Uh, they are looking very vintage. It's not too hard to make them. I need some paper. Paper, paper. To show you a better way. But before I will show you the process, how you can make these, I would like to show you. Yesterday I shared my uh, matchbook boxes and I made toppers for those boxes like a closure but today i woke up <laughs> with different type of idea how to use my toppers and i made them like a decoration for my journals i just punched the hole in that topper and hung there a few few pieces like decoration and i really love that i think they will make beautiful decoration even if they will be not like toppers like a closure for journal what i made yesterday like this so they will be amazing like and decoration so if you want to see how i made these they are in that process video of uh, my matchbook notebooks i will put it on on the end of this video today what i'm making today yeah i'm still processing all that and when i made those toppers uh i've been left over with, with those two rectangles so i'm using them one for those uh, specimen labels it's amazing to use them and one for this decoration here just you know just small tuck but today i would like to show you how you can make those <laughs> vintage <laughs> vintage paper clips they are amazing and they are kind of easy to do i i think i always think that way <laughs> i will try to explain it as much easy as i can i will try to show you the best way as I can. I just need to take them out of the air somehow put together. So what do you need? You need players with those edges, with those those circle one. You need players like this and you need paper clip. No matter what kind of paper clip. If you will have paper clip which is ending to that triangle, like triangle edge, you can use it as well. You just need to have a paper clip which has those two two ends. That's it. Uh, I'm starting with that inside short leg. I need to catch that end. Just bear with me. Let's get there. Just catch the end of that paper clip and twist it. Twist it to this side. And I will probably. Uh, recommend to twist it this way like like outside from the middle of that paper clip always outside i tried to twist it to the inside and that paper clip didn't look nice it looks better with that twisting to the outside and then you just need to take that other end i need to take a different way this way <laughs> I can't curl it up all right way, this way. Again, take the end of that paper clip and again twist it outside from the middle. Like this. Like this. You do have beautiful big paper clip, which looks amazing from both sides. And what you have to do next, uh, you will just need some uh, color, maybe some rusty patina, maybe, <laughs> maybe some rusty patina. I'm not sure why I sing that. <laughs> I'm singing. Some rusty patina, bitumen patina, uh, acrylic paint, uh, alcohol inks. Try to use what you have. I've got here that... Uh, Idea Patina, this bitumen, I like this patina, it's from, I hope my camera will zoom it, here you can see that, zoom please, or maybe it's too, yeah, oh, 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 will that zoom, this way, Maymary Spa, this is the company who makes those amazing patinas, if you will have a chance to find it on the internet try it because 
I'm very satisfied with those products. They are wonderful. <clears throat> so then you just need to color it with the color of your choice. Maybe you will use, you know, nature style. Maybe you will use like proper edging of your of your uh, paper clips. Just use what you like to use. I'm gonna put a little bit more on those because I grabbed <laughs> quite a lot on my brush. And this way you can create beautiful eh, vintage looking. Now I need to dry all that all that paint vintage looking paper clips that's all what i would like to share today and i'm gonna continue with making embellishments i really love this one it looks cute <laughs> so my toppers for much book notebooks are now like decoration and i do have here also you know i found in my stuff just small piece of acetate oh, with those beautiful leaves and it was too small to place it somewhere and it was cut to very weird very weird shape so i just cut it on on strips like this these are off cuts i had long strips from decorative paper so i just cut it made a hole and put them together with a safety pin and i think they will make also beautiful decoration maybe on some bigger tags so i'm working on this one and by the way yesterday in that video i was talking about that i'm tidy up my craft room well today i found that first <laughs> first but think about to make your make your craft room nice and tidy come straight away i can't find my hot glue uh, those sticks <laughs> i place them somewhere and i can't find them now <laughs> so not always is good to make your craft room nice and tidy not always it's a really good choice <laughs> so this is my sharing for today i hope you are well i hope you are enjoying uh, this weekend stay safe take care about yourself and see you next time bye